Dalmatians are a relatively healthy and easy to keep breed. Like other breeds, Dalmatians display a propensity towards certain health problems specific to their breed, such as deafness, allergies and urinary stones. Reputable breeders have their puppies bear, brain stem auditory evoked response, tested to ensure the status of the hearing on their pups. The Dalmatian Club of America lists the average lifespan of a Dalmatian at between 11 and 13 years, although some can live as long as 15 to 16 years. Breed health surveys in the US and the UK show an average lifespan of 9.9 and 11.55 years, respectively. In their late teens, both males and females may suffer bone spurs and arthritic conditions. Autoimmune thyroiditis may be a relatively common condition for the breed, affecting 11.6% of dogs. A genetic predisposition for deafness is a serious health problem for Dalmatians, only about 70% have normal hearing. Deafness was not recognized by early breeders, so the breed was thought to be unintelligent. Even after recognizing the problem as a genetic fault, breeders did not understand the dog's nature and deafness in Dalmatians continues to be a frequent problem. Researchers now know deafness in albino and piebald animals is caused by the absence of mature melanocytes in the inner ear. 16. This may affect one or both ears. The condition is also common in other canine breeds that share a genetic propensity for light pigmentation. This includes, but is not limited to bull terriers, dogo argentinos, poodles, boxers, border collies, and Great Danes. Typically, only dogs with bilateral hearing are bred, although those with unilateral hearing, and even dogs with bilateral deafness, make fine pets with appropriate training. The Dalmatian Club of America's position on deaf pups is that they should always be euthanized and never be sold or placed to pet homes. Dalmatians with large patches of color present at birth may have a lower rate of deafness. Selecting for this trait may reduce the frequency of deafness in the breed. However, patches are a disqualifying factor in Dalmatian breed standards in an effort to preserve the spotted coat. The continual breeding of patched dogs would result in heavily patched Dalmatians with few spots. Blue-eyed Dalmatians are thought to have a greater incidence of deafness than brown-eyed Dalmatians, although a mechanism of association between the two characteristics has yet to be conclusively established. 19. Some kennel clubs discourage the use of blue-eyed dogs in breeding programs. Hip dysplasia is another disease that affects nearly 5% of purebred Dalmatians, causing those to experience limping, fatigue, moderate to severe pain and trouble standing up. Most Dalmatians who eventually develop hip dysplasia are born with normal hips, but the soft tissues surrounding the joint grow abnormally due to their genetic makeup. The disease may affect both hips, or only the right or left hip, leading afflicted dogs to walk or run with an altered gait. Dalmatians, like humans, can suffer from hyperismia. Dalmatians' livers have trouble breaking down uric acid which can build up in the blood serum, hyperismia, causing gout. Uric acid can also be excreted in high concentration into the urine, causing kidney stones and bladder stones. These conditions are most likely to occur in middle-aged males. Males over 10 are prone to kidney stones and should have their calcium intake reduced or be given preventive medication. To reduce the risk of gout and stones, owners should carefully limit the intake of purines by avoiding giving their dogs food containing organ meats, animal byproducts, or other high purine ingredients. Hyperismia in Dalmatians responds to treatment with orgotine, the veterinary formulation of the antioxidant enzyme superoxide dismutase. Hyperismia in Dalmatians, as in all breeds, is inherited. But unlike other breeds, the normal gene for Rickus is not present in the breed's gene pool. Therefore, there is no possibility of eliminating hyperismia among purebred Dalmatians. The only possible solution to this problem must then be crossing Dalmatians with other breeds to reintroduce the normal Rickus gene. This led to the foundation of the Dalmatian Pointer Back Cross Project, 
which aims to reintroduce the normal Rucus gene into the Dalmatian breed. The back cross used a single English pointer, subsequent breedings have all been to purebred Dalmatians. This project was started in 1973 by Dr. Robert Scable. The first cross, F1, hybrids did not resemble Dalmatians very closely. The F1s were then crossed back to purebreds. This breeding produced puppies of closer resemblance to the pure Dalmatian. By the fifth generation in 1981, they resembled purebreds so much, Dr. Scable convinced the AKC to allow two of the hybrids to be registered as purebreds. Then AKC President William F. Stiffel stated, If there is a logical, scientific way to correct genetic health problems associated with certain breed traits and still preserve the integrity of the breed standard, it is incumbent upon the American Kennel Club to lead the way. The Dalmatian Club of America's, DCA Board of Directors supported this decision, however it quickly became highly controversial among the club members. A vote by DCA members opposed the registration of the hybrids, causing the AKC to ban registration to any of the dog's offspring. At the annual general meeting of the DCA in May 2006, the back cross issue was discussed again by club members. In June of the same year, DCA members were presented with an opportunity to vote on whether to reopen discussion of the Dalmatian back cross project. The results of this ballot were nearly two to one in favor of re-examining support of the project by the DCA. This has begun with publication of articles presenting more information both in support of and questioning the need for this project. In July 2011, the AKC agreed to allow registration of back cross Dalmatians. In 2010, the UK Kennel Club registered a back cross Dalmatian called CH. Fiacras first and foremost. Several restrictions were imposed on the dog. Although the dog is at least 13 generations removed from the original pointer cross, its F1 to F3 progeny will be marked on registration certificates with asterisks, which indicate impure or unverified breeding. No progeny will be eligible to be exported as pedigrees for the next five years, and all have to be health tested. UK Dalmatian breed clubs have objected to the decision by the Kennel Club. And that's